Hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie, and I turn old fabrics and clothing into new fashionable items. In today's sewing tutorial, I'm going to make a pinafore crossover apron. I always wanted one of these aesthetic vintage aprons. They are all over my Pinterest and Instagram. So today I finally gave in and decided to make one. So I could feel all cottagecore in my kitchen. In case you want this feeling too, keep watching this tutorial and give it a big thumbs up. Okay, let's start sewing! I made this pinna for apron from a piece of fabric that I bought in a thrift store. I think it was a tablecloth, but it could also be a light carpet. I first cut the waistband. I measured 8 cm or 3 inches from the edge and cut it out. Then I measured the skirt part. I chose a length of 62 cm or 25 inches. I love this piece of fabric because all the sides are already hemmed. I just zigzagged the raw top edge to prevent that from unraveling. Now I'm going to gather up the skirt. Place your machine on the maximum stitch length and sew a straight stitch on the top, but do not back stitch. It helps to leave a long thread at both ends. Now you can move the fabric together by pulling on the under thread or the bobbin thread. Pull the skirt until it's 5 cm or 2 inches less than your waist length. Take your waistband and mark the middle. Do the same for the skirt. Pin the skirt to the waistband and make sure that your two marks align. Sew the waistband to the skirt using a straight stitch. A tip is to go slow and sew under your line of pins. Ok, that was it for the skirt, now let's make the front part. I put the apron on and turned her out with it a little bit, because I was proud on it. And then I measured myself for the top part. I needed a rectangle from 38 cm or 15 inches on 30 cm or 12 inches. Cut the rectangle. I also zigzagged around the edges to prevent them from unraveling and hem the top of your top part. Next, I cut the straps. I made them 10 cm or 4 inches wide and 1 meter or 40 inches long. You will need at least 1 meter or 40 inches for the length. Fold the straps double, right sides together and sew them together into a loop. Turn the loop around. I used a clothespin for this because this makes my life a little easier. Pin the straps to the edges of the rectangle and sew them in place. Congratulations, you just finished the top part. Oh, watch me do it. Now let's set this baby together. Mark the middle of the skirt and the middle of the top part and pin them together. Attach them using a straight stitch. Then I finished the edges of the straps so they would align with the apron. Put 
put the apron on and mark the spots where you want the straps to be. Sew the straps to the spots. I forgot to film this, so you will have to imagine me doing it. I'm sorry. And ta-da! You finished your apron! So the next day I decided that pockets would be very handy. People who design women's clothes should conclude that too. Lay your hand where you want your pockets to be and draw a rectangle around this. I only got this strap left, so I cut and sewn it together into a rectangle. Next I zigzagged around the edges and hemmed them. Now simply pin the rectangles to the rectangle you drew earlier and sew the sides, but not the top sides, otherwise your pocket will be kinda useless. And ta-da! You just finished your cottagecore pinafore apron thingy! You should be proud! Okay, that was it! Thanks so much for watching this sewing tutorial! If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more sewing tutorials like this one! If you want to support me, you can do that by leaving a comment below. You can also follow me on Instagram or you can support me on buymeacoffee.com. Thank you! Bye!